I don't even think most of the problems are long range. I think they're fairly short range. Um, if, if it becomes accepted in the minds of the public that the government's free to demand an ID of you anytime and lock you up or otherwise constrain you if you won't provide it or don't have it, um, there's a lot of pressure from various corners of society to use that power to solve some of our problems. You know, whether the problem is illegal immigration, whether the problem is drug dealers, uh, wife beaters, um, whatever it is, you know, more regimentation is usually the answer. The reason in California that you have to provide a social security number to get a driver's license is so they can match you up to a, a registry of deadbeat dads, right? So that they won't renew your driver's license if you're not paying your child support. Right? It has nothing to do with driving. People think that the ID demands now are confined to airports, but they're just not paying attention. The, well, the same kind of ID demands are, are happening on passenger trains, Amtrak has a requirement that you either show ID or use a credit card that they can trace to buy tickets. In addition, if you're on a train and uh, they, they come through on sweeps demanding IDs of everyone on the train, and if you don't have an ID, they kick you off at the next station. Just leave you, abandon you in the middle of nowhere somewhere. And of course, you can't get on another train if you have no ID, you're just stuck there. I've had reports from friends of being unable to board buses that run up and down the East Coast. Personally, I've been able to travel by bus on the West Coast, but apparently this is at somebody's whim, and they could just decide, oh, next week you need an ID to get on a bus. They have been demanding searches and IDs of people who go into subway stations, both in New York and Washington and, and Boston. And ACLU challenged one of these in New York and lost and decided not to pursue it. Nobody's challenged the other ones. The people are just putting up with it. In addition, they're requiring ID on boats, um, not only on ferries and things like this, but also on cruise ships that, that go just between domestic locations. In particular, there's a, a set of ferries that connect Alaska to the mainland. And you can travel on this without ever leaving the United States. Um, but you can't travel on it without an ID.